Hello everyone, here in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can display dynamic HTML table or maybe you can call it HTML content in your product page. So for each product, it will be a unique uh, data that will be passed through the meta field. So if you will be going to the product page, from there you will get an option to add that HTML value and that will be reflecting on the front end of the product page. So for each product, it will be a unique content. So let me show you step by step that how you can do it into your store. So firstly, you should go back to the dashboard of the store. I have installed down theme. If you have any other theme, then still this feature will work. So first of all, I'm going to uh, click on settings. And here you can see that we have meta fields and meta objects. So you should click on that and then we have multiple options here. For now, we are interested to display that content on the basis of products. So you should click on products. Then after you should click on add definition. So here I am going to write table data. So let me click on this. So actually I already created this kind of field before. So maybe we can write it something else. So let me say it data table. All right. You can name it uh, whatever you like, but later on we will have to use this key to access this field. And then you should click on select type and here you should choose multi line text. And then after you should click on save. So now we are uh, done with creating the meta field. Now we are interested to uh, put the HTML from the backend. So let me show you where exactly we are going to display it. So for say example, this is the preview of my uh, Shopify store. If I'm going to any of the product page, for say example, this product, on the right hand side, we have product title, add to cart button, buy it now. Maybe below it, we are interested to display a neat and clean table. So how we can do that? You should go back, click on customize. And uh, then after, you should click on any of the product or there is an alternate and that is uh, click on this drop down, click on products and click on default product. So then after you should uh, have this product page here, you should click on product information and down below, below the share option, you should have a plus icon, click on add block and then click on custom liquid. So make sure that this custom liquid should be inside of this product information rather than uh, below it. All right. Once you have created this, then I'm going to uh, write some code inside of it to access that meta field, which I have created just now. So you should, uh, you should write open and close curly braces. And inside of it, I'm going to write product dot meta fields dot custom dot uh, data table data underscore table. So from where we are getting this information, here, let me show you again. If you are going back, clicking on settings, clicking on meta fields and meta objects, click on products. And here you can see data table. So we have custom dot data table, data underscore table. So make sure that this should be matching with uh, that value, which is data underscore table. So what we have written product dot meta fields dot custom dot uh, data underscore table using this statement we are actually reflecting those changes on the front end. Let me save the changes. Right now we don't have anything in the back end. That's why it is not reflecting here. Let me go back to the dashboard again. And uh, here you should click on products. And inside of this product, for say example, I am choosing this product. And uh, here in the dashboard of this product, scroll it down. And down below you will be finding product meta fields. So under this we have data table. So inside of this uh, input box, we are going to paste in HTML code. So basically I have created a, a demo table. So let me show you how it works. Let me copy it and then paste it right here and then click on save. Once the changes are saved, then let me go back here. Let me refresh this and let's see if that change. Here we go. Now you can see that uh, using this preview, here you can see that we have this table displaying over here. So in the header one, header two, you can display any other information. For example, you can edit it uh, from the backend. 
so let me show you here is the table so just on the top we have the styling like uh, we have added the border color we have added the width uh, font family and all but below it we have some content for example in the header one i am writing uh, for example material and then second one is fabric and let me copy it and then let me paste it again and then let me save the changes so we need to again preview the changes here we go now you can see that we have material and fabric and under material you can put a different data and under fabric you can also put a different data and for say example you have any other product and uh, let me see uh, for example we have this Sophia lightweight top and if I am adding something else here so let me show you for say example I have a different content for this let me write it like color and fabric so let me copy it and then let's put it here data table so this is a different content actually so let me save the changes and then you can actually preview this one also here we go here you can see that we have color and fabric but in the other one we have material and fabric so that means for each product we have unique data to display so you can actually implement this same thing into your store if you are facing any issues or something definitely you can you can ask me i will help you out in that and one more thing is that uh, in the customization you can actually move it above uh, share button this is the share button and above it we, uh, we are just moving it so that it should display below the buy now button so here we go if i am refreshing this you can see that we have above share button and here also if i'm refreshing it you can see that we have material and fabric so that means we have successfully displayed uh, the con html content that is actually dynamic html table on our product page thank you so much for watching this video if you are new on this channel then please subscribe this channel also like this video you can follow me on instagram facebook and tiktok if you have anything related to shopify for example developing a shopify store or creating a new section into that feel free to contact me i have already given the contact details below in the description thank you so much once again see you in the next video